Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and I'm going to be doing a C++ exercise uh, where we'll be creating a low shoe a magic square. If you happen to hear some screaming and shooting uh, in the background, that's just my son playing his uh, Xbox, so don't pay attention to that, pay attention to the C++. That's why you're here, right? <laughs> Alright, so uh, what is the low shoe shoe square well it is a square where the sum of all row the sum of uh, each row equals the sum of each column and also across so for example this is the winning kind of uh, winning numbers uh, this is how they would be placed on the square four nine two three five seven eight one six because four plus nine plus two equals fifteen and so is 3 plus 5 plus 7, 8, 1, 6 is 15. And also the columns, 4, 3, 8 is 15, 9, 5, 1 is 15. And also across, 4, 5, 6 and 2, 5, 8. So the sum is uh, the same uh, in each row, in each column and also across. Now the app that we will be creating, um, basically the computer will randomly choose a bunch of numbers and um, check whether uh, you know place them on the uh, 2d array which will represent our three by three uh, square and check whether it is a magic square and if not then it will choose another numbers and uh, try those and we can you know try do as many tries as we want so um all right, let's get started. The first thing, um, first thing we need to uh, get some uh, get some libraries. So um, I'm going to be using some uh, IO stream. I'm going to be using some. Uh, the, since we are going to be using random numbers, we need the standard library and also we'll need the time to seed the uh, the random uh, the, the random uh, counter or I don't know what you want to call it so include time because random numbers are picked based on the time on the clock on your computer so we will seed that and then we will go to the random and uh, actually uh, pick a number randomly all right, and I'm also going to be using the namespace uh, std. Okay, so um, like I said, first thing we need to do, we need to get uh, those numbers. We will be choosing numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, uh, but obviously we need to choose them randomly and place them randomly on our, uh, on our grid. So let's say I pick randomly number five and place it over here as the first element. And then I pick two, place it over here and so forth. But the numbers have to be randomly picked, even though they are being placed one by one, they are picked randomly. So um, I'm gonna create a, the uh, create a function called, I'll just call it get random uh, numbers. It's gonna be void because it will simply pick the number and place it into our 2D array, which I will create now. So um, we are going to create a three by three grid. So I will create a constant uh, integer. I'll just call it size and equals three. And I'm going to create the array that will represent the grid, the three by three grid. So it's gonna be 2D array with rows and columns. It's gonna be three by three, so size and size. And I'm gonna in initialize it just to zeros. Uh, so it's gonna be zero, 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 that's the first row. The second row will be again, zero, zero, zero. And finally the last row will be zero, zero, and zero. So this is our array initialized to zero and we will populate it with the uh, random numbers that will replace those zeros. 
so that is our array um so let me go and create the um random uh get random numbers so i'm going to create a void get random numbers so in it um i'm going to create an integer called number that's gonna be the randomly picked number and um, i'm going to create another array that will have nine uh, elements which will be one two three four five six seven eight eight nine and from there we will be placing them into our array one by one so in other words we'll pick a random number assign it to our regular array and from there we will place it over here based on the index in other words when i p pick uh, uh, let's say number two i will place it into the index number one which is the second index of the array if i play, pick a uh, number nine that's gonna be the last index of the array the eighth index so that's gonna make it easy to make sure that we will only pick uh, one number uh, one uh, in other words we need to pick one two three four five six seven eight and nine i might i want i need to compare each uh, every time i choose a number or randomly to pick the number that it's not, not already uh it doesn't already exist because i don't want two ones somewhere here like this it, only one number can be present one of each so um i'm gonna create that uh array i'll just call it used numbers it's a regular array and i will again initialize them all to zero so it's gonna be nine elements so it's nine zeros one two three four five six seven eight and nine so um the i will just comment array that holds numbers we already used so we, this is the when we pick the number we will be checking this array whether the number will, because when we choose the number we we'll place it into this array so the next number we will choose we'll make sure that it's not already there and if it is we'll simply pick another one until all nine numbers are populated so now i will create the uh, the seed for the for the random so it's gonna be the time and i will just pass the null so this will basically create the uh the seed for, uh, for when we create the random numbers uh, otherwise the random numbers would be picked so fast that they would be basically they would be just one number really no matter how many we would pick it would be the same number over and over again this actually makes sure that they are indeed random or at least as random as they can be so um and finally i will create a boolean called is number used and this is gonna be uh i'll, I'll set it to true as if it is uh and um, this this will be the flag that we will will be changing to true or false depending on whether the number is already placed in the into this array so um we can go and do our loop so i will do for integer i equals zero i is less than nine because there's nine numbers we are going to populate one through one through nine and i plus plus and within like i said we need to pick the ran random number make sure it doesn't already exist in the array and if it is not then we will add it to it if it is we will be looping and until we pick the one that is not in the array until all nine of them are there so this is the our outer loop and our inner loop will be i'll just make a do loop uh, and i will set the flag is number used i will set it to true for each iteration of this loop uh so it and uh, so it resets to false when the number is being added and i will now choose the number the random number so it's gonna be the rand uh, function 
and we are picking uh, 9 plus 1. In other words, from 1 to 9, right? That's uh, that's how this uh, randomizer works. So get random number 1 uh, between 1 and 10. Well, 1 and 9. Uh, it's not really one and ten because if uh, that would not that would be exclusive so one through nine and um, in uh, over here we'll do the check if the used numbers that's the array uh, that we have here with the index that equals to the number minus one because we the array starts from zero, but we are picking number from one. So when we pick number two, I want the index number one, which would be the second index, obviously. So if that uh, equals zero, remember we initialize them to zero. So if it is zero, then the number was not picked yet. So we will simply place it in there. So we will do used numbers. And again, the number minus one index we will assign it that number so this way if it, uh, that's why we initialize it to zero we will simply check against that if this number is already there then it wouldn't be zero anymore it there would be the value of the number in it so that way this would be skipped and we would uh, loop through the do while loops so and so if it is a new number we can reset the flag is number used to false. Well, that actually means that the number is used, but uh, let's just rename it to was number used rather than is number used. Was number used? No, it wasn't. So now it is. All right. So um, that's our if statement, and we will simply finish the while loop. We will loop until was number used so as long as this is true as long as there's any number that we can add we will be looping once all nine uh, numbers are forward nine indexes are filled and we and the numbers one through nine are being picked then we'll exit this loop and uh, uh, we will go uh, and we'll exit the for loop as well now the for loop loops nine times because again we are picking nine numbers one through nine all right so that's why we have uh, until nine this loop the do while loop simply ensures that uh, we are picking one number one random number at a time that was not already picked all right so um and uh, after the for loop uh actually after the while loop uh, still be within the for loop uh, we will add that number, the random number, to our actual array. Why did I name it name? I'm <laughs> it's numbers, I, I would guess. I don't know why I named it name. Whatever. But it's numbers. So the, and we assign that number to it. So I'm just going to create the uh, number to array. Add number to array. And I will pass that... Uh, number as an argument now i don't have this created yet so i'm gonna create it uh, uh i'll just copy it so i'm gonna create uh over here i will create and it's going to be um let me see i'm thinking uh now it's gonna be void it will simply add it to an array so void but it expects the integer the argument that's the one number at a time that we will be adding to it. So it picks a number, calls it this function, adds the number to the array, and goes to the, to check for uh, or pick the next number. So the uh, add number to array. Let me create that. Void add number to array. We'll expect the integer number. And over here we will 
simply loop and add that number to it. So we will go for integer i equals zero. i is less than, remember, size. That's the constant, which is three. i plus plus. And since this is a this is a 2D array, we need the, so this is the outer loop. Now we go to the inner loop. So it's gonna be integer, I call it C equals zero. C is less than size and C plus plus. And uh, over here, our array, remember it's initialized to zero as well. So we can check against that just like we did with the uh, array before this, uh, we can do if the numbers with the index of i and c if that's equal zero meaning it was not populated yet then just add a number to it so numbers i and c we will assign the number that we passed as an argument to it and we don't have to do anything else once we the number is assigned we can simply return so we don't waste uh, any time and uh, you know, there's nothing else to populate we do one number at a time but what it means what this is checking is uh, if we assign the first number let's say it's going to be this element the next time next, next time it comes over here it checks is this element empty no not anymore so go and assign the number to the next element which would be this uh, uh, the index is zero one then it goes, uh, picks another number, comes over here and tries to assign it. This is already occupied, this is already occupied, so it goes over here. So basically it, ma it makes sure that uh, it populates uh, one number at a time with the next uh, into the next available index. Okay, so um, that's enough for this video. In the next video, we will go and uh, continue uh, you know uh, this uh, little exercise so uh, if you want to know how this ends stick around and watch the next video take care